everybody. Welcome back to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim. We have some interesting information that came from uh, the recent conference of the American Diabetes Association, which was held in Miami, Florida. And interesting topic came up, and that is beta cell encapsulation. Now we know it's all about protecting those transplanted beta cells from the immune response. Well, we have a new technology it is called a micro gel and this is under consideration now and it is in preclinical studies and we've got the whole story for you right here it's fascinating stuff hit the like and subscribe button we do appreciate all of your support now let's look into this micro gel and protecting beta cells shocking potential treatment advances for t1d reviewed at ada conference the Diabetes Research Institute at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine announced a groundbreaking approach to treating type 1 diabetes, T1D, at the 2024 American Diabetes Association Conference. The new method involves the use of human stem cell-derived islets combined with an immunomodulatory microgel, designed to replace pancreatic islet cells without requiring lifelong immunosuppression. According to the press release from the Diabetes Research Institute and the Miami Miller School of Medicine, this approach is unique and potentially game-changing because it involves the collaboration of several different companies each specializing in different medical technologies. The participants include iTolerance Inc. and Kata Mastem, LTD. This group leverages ITOL 100, an engineered microgel that promotes local immune acceptance, and Islet RX, a scalable source of insulin-producing cells derived from stem cells. The combination has been shown to restore normal blood sugar levels in a model of diabetes, indicating potential for widespread application in T1D treatment. Though this is in the research stage and thus preclinical, the research model indicates great potential for solving the issue of immune rejection of transplanted pancreatic cells. Dr. Giacomo Lanzoni, a leading researcher in the project, highlighted that this method could enable islet cell transplantation across the allogeneic barrier making it a scalable and sustainable solution for T1D. Additionally, Dr. Camillo Ricordi emphasized the potential for this technology to eliminate the need for chronic systemic immunosuppression, significantly enhancing the safety and efficacy of islet cell transplantation. Let's get a picture of what a microgel is and what it does. ITOL 100 is an engineered microgel designed for specific applications, likely in the field of biotechnology or medicine. These microgels can be used for various purposes, including drug delivery, tissue engineering, and as carriers for biomolecules. According to the company, in a preclinical non-human primate study, allogeneic pancreatic islet cells co-implanted with microgel, ITOL 100, exhibited up to 6 months, function with control of blood glucose levels and restoration of insulin secretion without the use of chronic immune suppression. ITL 102 is leveraging significant advancements in stem cells to derive pancreatic islets which allows an inexhaustible supply of insulin-producing cells for use in type 1 diabetes. The second player in this collaboration is Kadi Mastem Limited of Israel. Their patented Islet RX is unique with its ability to select and enrich only the highest functioning and purest islet cells from the population of pluripotent stem cells which enables the maximum therapeutic effect. This channel has highlighted the efforts to bring manufactured islet cells to the market to negate the scarcity of donor-supplied islet cells. Our collaboration with iTolerance opens an innovative and world-first avenue for transplanting pancreatic islet cells into people with diabetes without the need for full suppression of the immune system, which is required today in organ transplants, said Michelle Revel, MD, PhD, Chief Scientist at Cadimastum, Limited Our company produces high-quality pancreatic islet cells. The joint data collected by us proves the possibility of combining our cells with the material that locally prevents the rejection of the implant developed by our project partner iTolerance. Having completed an interact meeting with the FDA, the two companies are moving together to the pre-IND submission stage. Much of this important research has been funded by grants from the Breakthrough T1D Foundation, formerly known as JDRF, and the Israel-US Binational Industrial Research BIRD, Foundation. BIRD is an acronym for Israel U.S. by National Industrial Research and Development. The BIRD Foundation's mission is to stimulate, promote, and support industrial R&D of mutual benefit to the U.S. and Israel. Okay, fascinating technology happening down there at the University of Miami School of Medicine using a microgel 
to protect transplanted beta cells. This obviously shows such promise that even the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, which is now known as the Breakthrough T1D Foundation, has granted the university $50 million to continue with this research. We will let you know as developments come along and how this is progressing. In the meantime, you take care of yourself. Thank you for stopping by today. We'll have another video for you real soon here at Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Have a great day.